You guys ready for your last performer and then we're going to turn it over to another host? This guy hasn't been here in a while. It's been a little bit of time since he's been here. He's been in film school. We like this guy. Give it up for Scott Vasquez. Make some noise for him. Put it up. Oh yeah, it's been a long time since I've been here. Well, welcome to the fifth anniversary show. And based on this crowd, nobody cares. I wonder how your fifth anniversary is going to be. Are people going to show up? Oh boy, yeah. This may be the last anniversary show we might do. Because we're losing a crowd faster than Major League Baseball. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, like, I, I go to a lot of games, and every, and this is the funny thing, every time, like, a kid, like, especially a male child, appears on screen, what do you think the first thing they do when they appear on screen, screen is? Anyone? They floss. You know that dance craze that's going on called the floss? It's like, okay, like, why? Like, I know it's a craze and all that. Like, how come in every little boy's mind, every time they appear on the video, we're like, oh crap, I have to floss. Because if you don't, you're not cool or something. I mean, like, why do you, like, why do you immediately have to do that when you appear on screen? Here is my theory. Because uh, you know what the floss is, right? How, how, how they all do this and all that stuff. Now, this is my this is my theory. Look at where their hand is. And what if I point like this? I mean, like, is this is is this their way of of like is this their calling card for sex or something? Like, oh, look. I mean, seriously, look at their hand is pointing. And don't even get me started about the height. Because you know how they do it? Like, what does this look like? And then, oh, you, no, this is a real move called the height. It's like, what? I bet you the guy that invented that dance was holding a dildo when he came in over there. And, people, and this is the funny thing. People who don't do it, you know what they call us? They call us grandpas. Like, like if we do, like... The twerk, that's a grandpa now. Okay, you want to see grandpa? I'll show you grandpa. <laughs> that's a twist, by the way, which something that our grandpas would have done. Or if you want to get older. <laughs> so hold down. Okay, so. Okay, how many people, speaking of baseball, how many people are watching the playoffs? A couple of people. All right, good. Now, this is the strange thing that happened yesterday. Because, it, because you know that the, the Houston Astros eliminated the Cleveland team, and the Dodgers eliminated the Atlanta team. So this is the funny thing. You know what yesterday was? Columbus Day, and both the Indians and the Braves were eliminated. America! And those of you football fans, the Redskins got raped yesterday. And so, but don't worry, today we got our revenge. The Yankees got eliminated. Kind of a anti-America thing. Like, I mean, like, how weird is that? Like, a, were they destined to get eliminated on that particular day? Oh boy. Yeah, me, me being an autistic person, I can't play baseball because they'll have to put me on the disabled list. <laughs> Yeah, um, and no, I'm not faking my autism. <laughs> in fact, I play a little. In fact, matter of fact, I play some golf. I did your one. People ask me what my handicap is. I say autism. Oh boy. 
this. Ted here? Okay, now I'm gonna leave you on I'm gonna leave you on this note here. Like uh, did you know that people that there are these people that try to sue Cher? Like how many people know Cher? Yeah, like uh, there are a group of people that try to sue shares. And when they try to go to the lawyer, they didn't have enough money to go with the case. But the lawyer says, let's just do it. So, so you know what this means, that now the case is pro bono. <laughs> All right, I am Scott Westbrook. This is the fifth anniversary show. Thank you very much. Give it up for Scott Westbrook, who's the most boring. <laughs>